Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I just had to show how many, the volume of bees that's on these feeders right here. These are the ones I did the previous videos on. And I looked down, saw this cloud of bees. And I just had refilled three of them. So three of them are filled up and the other ones, will, I'm sure, will be empty by the end of the day. But just look at the number of bees in these things. You can tell when you get in a dearth because when they're eating that heavily your feed then you know that these bees are hungry. That's a lot of bees right there and these will increase even more as the morning goes on. The more and more bees are finding these. So I had uh, four and I thought if I put four more then that would be enough to the to hold the volume of bees open feeding but apparently it's not I could probably put 20 of these out and they'd probably still have them filled up that's crazy that's just that's a lot of bees right there I can remember when I used to open feed with just one and it would be packed out like that one is and I thought that was a lot of bees now that you look there's eight of them like that that just that just goes to show you right there these these bees are hungry and if you want them to grow, you got to keep feeding them. And my hives up there, all the small hives, they're not being robbed out. This works very well through the dearth. Those hive top feeders are wonderful, but like I said, if you've got a lot of bees and a lot of strong bees mingling in with weaker, weaker hives, it's good to do this and draw them away from the colonies as far as possible. I could even maybe put it a little bit further, but it, everything is downhill. Um, and that was about the best place to put them, so. I spilled a little bit of sugar water on my tailgate, and these bees, are, they'll be all day eating this sugar water up. Where I had it on the back of my truck. But that just, that's a massive amount of bees right there eating. Oh, and here's, here's a, this goes out to the people that was saying this spreads disease. And I tried to make a, a point to them that whether they like it or not, they're community feeding anyway with their bees and they don't even realize it. And what I mean by that is trash cans, dumpsters, landfills, restaurants, uh, cornfields in full bloom. If you ever been to a cornfield, Anywhere where you got honeybees, those bees will be thick as a cloud like this right here, and maybe not quite this heavy, but they'll be rolling over each other. People don't realize, and at least doing it this way, I'm keeping them at home. And, you know, since bees are in the decline, there's not a lot of wild bees. So there's not really any wild bees mingling in with these. And even if they was, the chance of them spreading the disease would be, you'd, you'd have a better chance hitting a lottery 10 times in a row. It's just crazy, to, the thinking of that. And uh, But if you think about it, you know, people's got Coke cans laying out, trash cans. If there's a fair going on, those honeybees will just, they'll be all over the place. Um, when the apple trees, when they drop their apples, look on the ground and there'll just be a massive amount of honeybees fighting after that that uh sugar coming out of the the fructose coming out of the apples it's just whether they like it or not their community the, their bees are being community fed and they don't even realize it so the way i see it at least i'm keeping my bees at home at least they're you think about that you community feed you're keeping yours at home, either that, take it away and let them go somewhere else. And then hive top feed this time of year, you're gonna lose some small hives. So think about that. That's another little tip today of, uh, of something you can tell people when they when they down about community feed and say, well, at least these bees are staying at home. They're not flying somewhere else uh, community feeding. They're, they're doing it right here in their own yard. So 
I wanted to put that out and uh, make that clear to everybody because uh, this is this is not dangerous. This is not hard on these bees. The bees forage. That's what they do, and they're hungry. And all these bees could be up there robbing other hives out, but they're not. I just want to put that out there. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beats.